Ice cream tastes like ass? That's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Dude, that's like the saddest thing I've ever heard. Well, hello, you beautiful people, and welcome to another YouTube video. Today, we had an important discussion that all started with one question. Is the strawberry shortbread ice cream bar thing that you get from the ice cream truck the greatest ice cream possible to get from the ice cream truck? And where would every other ice cream from the ice cream truck fall in relationship to that? This all started with a weird random argument that happened during one of our Just Chatting streams. Uh, and I had to bring the magic on over to YouTube because it was a great time. I hope you enjoy. Please let me know your ice cream opinions down below. But remember, my list is definitive. It is the correct opinion on all ice cream, but I'd be happy to hear your possibly wrong dissenting opinions as well. As always, if you like this video, leave it a like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. We're pushing for 1,500 subscribers so we can do something special like a fun little giveaway. Um, and, you know, every little bit counts. So I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. I never acknowledge lactose intolerance. Exactly. That's how you remain lactose tolerant. I'm very mature when I'm out of chat. I honestly believe it. I believe most people, I, I hope to God most people are more mature when they're outside of Twitch chat than when they're on Twitch chat. I don't like ice cream for two reasons. It's cold, yes really, and sugar. Those are like the best parts about it. You just named the best parts of ice cream wild gaming. It fucking makes no sense. You just listed the two best things. I think you must have had a typo in there. Choco taco or bust. I don't... I think I've had a Choco Taco in my life, maybe. I don't know if I've ever even had a Choco Taco. I didn't get to eat the ice cream truck a lot. It didn't come into my neighborhood a lot. And my mom was very anti-sugar. And uh, also we were very broke. So getting money out of my parents was like squeezing blood from a stone. It was fucking difficult. Chad, do I gotta, do I gotta bust out the tier list on you right now? I have a tier list pulled up and ready to go. I have a tier list pulled up and ready to go of, of ice creams from the ice cream truck. What's your opinion on snow cones? Snow cones are trash, dude. Snow cones are garbage. Snow cones are stupid as fuck. Just give me Kool-Aid, all right? Do you, would you like Kool-Aid, but it's spread across like way too much fucking ice, and then you end up with a fucking just block of ice that you're sucking on at the end? No. No, I don't fucking want that, dude. First of all, like anything beyond icy is garbage, all right? Icies are fine. I can fuck with an icy. But a snow cone, a snow cone is garbage. It's a garbage way to put Kool-Aid in your face. It's stupid, and I don't care what anybody says. The shaved ice in Hawaii, though? I don't know what, what is the shaved ice in Hawaii? What is the shaved ice in Hawaii, bro? All right, chat. Chat. I don't, you know, I'm realizing how poor I was growing up because I don't think I've had a lot of these. All I know is that Strawberry Crunch is fucking S plus tier. And where is the chocolate shortcake? I know you're on here, bitch. Bitch, don't fucking lie to me. There you are, dude. The chocolate crunch? Right up there with strawberry, dude. What else is, like, really good? Look, snow cone for $2? Actual garbage, dude. I'd rather eat the $2 bills, dude. I'd rather munch on a handful of pennies than eat this fucking snow cone garbage, right? Fucking trash right there. Uh, these ice cream bars are not that great. Look, I love a good ice cream sandwich, but like These ice cream bars you get from the fucking uh, The ice cream truck are way overly frozen every time and they instantly melt and then you just end up with like It's a horrible shape. All the ice cream just leaks at the bottom. You get sticky. They're, they're horrible. They're horrible, dude Aaron, if spider-man ice cream isn't top tier, you're dead to me I can put it like here. I don't think I really ever had these I assume that all of these are basically the exact same ice cream, right? Like, all the shaped bars are essentially the same. Okay, Tweety Bird is garbage because who the fuck is going out there buying Tweety Bird? What 90-year-old grandma is fast enough to flag down the ice cream truck and buy a Tweety Bird ice cream, right? Because you know no one under the age of 90 is buying a Tweety Bird ice cream. Fucking grandma's out there with her little walker chasing behind the ice cream truck and they're just driving away at 5 miles an hour and she can't yell because she's so old. Eh! Stop the ice cream truck! And they don't hear. They don't stop. Grandma's not getting the ice cream. Grandma's not getting shit, dude. Who the fuck is buying these things? 
They're super crystallized, the sandwiches. Dude, yeah, they like were melted and then refrozen and they were trash. I think these are all essentially the same, so I would rank them based on like how much I'd like them, which would probably be this. No, this. No, this. Yes, this. This. Spider-Man, SpongeBob, Bubbles, Batman, maybe Batman, Bubbles, Sonic. Tweety Bird is just garbage though. Tweety Bird is garbage for real. Let's be honest, if you go to the ice cream truck and you just buy a pint of ice cream, your life is the saddest shit I've ever seen, dude. If you were to just go to an ice cream truck and be like, I will take a pint of vanilla Briar's ice cream. What the fuck? Who the fuck would do that? What sad sack of shit would do that? Bubbles could kick Batman's ass. Oh, confirmed, dude. Batman would not hit a child, dude. I respect them not for the way they taste. This isn't just about the way they taste, right? Taste is an important factor here, but this is about like childhood love of ice cream, right? This isn't about me now objectively rating these based on taste. This is about the excitement factor. This is about the pog factor, all right? This this is about the hype factor behind it all. This, this is about an entire presentation of ice cream. It, it's not any one thing. It, taste is an important aspect of it, but it's bigger than just taste alone. And no, I don't really like Sonic. Uh, okay, so here is the giant Oreo cookie. I'm gonna put that in the B tier. It's got a lot of functional problems like the traditional ice cream sandwich, but it's cookies and cream ice cream, which is superior to vanilla. It's also got a proper cookie top and shape, so it looks like a big Oreo. That's just fun. That's just fun, dude. Drumstick? Yeah, where is the drumstick? I don't see the drumstick on here. I think this, like, this is like a generic drumstick? I don't know. We'll get to it. Uh, classic traditional fudge pop? Fucking S tier, dude. Fudge pops are great on a hot summer day. Chocolate, cold, they don't melt too fast because they're like, whatever they are, they're fucking have an amazing consistency for a hot summer day. Chocolate is the best. Absolutely respect this, dude. Alright, these two are, are basically tied. I think this one's even a little better. This one's a little better, honestly. This one's a little better. Uh, push pops? Fucking trash, dude. Push Pops are garbage. They taste like shit. No one wants an orange sherbet Push Pop. Orange sherbet, worst flavor. Fucking garbage flavor, dude. Choco Taco, definitely up here with a Fudge Pop. Fucking incredible. Just, just top tier ice cream right here, dude. Uh, the Snowball, slightly better than like the just straight up snow cone, but also kind of trash. Also just kind of garbage, man. Uh, this is a Creamsicle. Creamsicle fucking way up here, dude. Creamsicle's so good. I can't believe your A tier with the horror show those popsicles are. Look, chat made me do it. Honestly, honestly, this is probably a little more accurate. This is probably a little more accurate, dude. And I think, I think maybe this needs to move down. Nah, these are, these are equally good to me, dude. Keep SpongeBob A. They're all the same. They're all the same. If any of them are A, to be Spider-Man because he's the coolest. All face pops, lowest of low fucking X tier U. I don't know what they are out, dude. The B tier's making depends on how funny they are when they're melted. That's also respectable. Oh my God, melon and fishy, what? They look like shit out of the wrapping. Also, ice cream sandwiches are amazing if you unwrap slow. No, but you still get that like goopy mess at the bottom that leaks out and gets all over your hands no matter what you do Like you gotta eat them too fast. My problem is they also start way too frozen, right? These ones the rectangular ones when you get them from the ice cream truck, they're like hyper frozen It feels like they've reached a uh, absolute zero Which I thought was a scientific and impossibility yet the ice cream man be rolling down my street Serving ice cream sandwiches at absolute fucking zero all right, Chad, I gotta be honest. I feel like you guys have peer pressured me into this situation. I, I gotta be honest with my heart, chat. You guys have peer pressured me into a, a falsehood. But that's not who I am. That's not who I am, dude. Did I peer pressure you to take them down three more tiers? No. I'm gonna be honest with myself. I think these are better than just getting a weird... Like, only a serial killer would get a pint of ice cream from the ice cream uh, truck. Push pops are garbage. Screwballs are just slightly above garbage, you know. These are these are slightly better than an ice cream sandwich, dude. I like Tweety. What the fuck? Pachi, are you are you 90 years old and my grandma? Pachi, my 90-year-old grandma confirmed. 
Pachi is super sweet like a 90 year old grandma. I, I think Pachi might be my grandma in disguise. Grandma, I thought you were dead. Oh my God. And you're not even supporting me on Twitch. I love you too, Gam Gam. Tweety is the Karen of Looney Tunes. Boom. Nailed it, dude. Nailed it, dude. I just got grandma zoned, Lamel. <laughs> dude, I, it's been a while since I've seen somebody get Gam Gam zoned. Okay, here's, this one is just like a chocolate bar. It's just ice cream with a chocolate coating. That one can go in C tier, honestly. Unimaginative, not that great. These chill lemon things, I'll put them in like a D tier. In like a D tier. Here you go. Here is a good ice cream sandwich, bud. This is a good ice cream sandwich. The giant Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. It's got all the problems of a normal ice cream sandwich, but I respect it because Neapolitan is insane. If you were a kid, and you got the giant Neapolitan ice cream sandwich, you felt like you had gamed the system, all right? You felt like a billionaire walking off Wall Street, dude. You just suckered the whole fucking world into making you rich. You paid $2.50 and you got three different flavors of ice cream and an ice cream sandwich. That fucking ice cream guy did not know what hit him, dude. You're walking away like, you're like that dumbass ice cream truck driver doesn't know what the fuck I just pulled on him. Okay, so like all popsicles are like pretty fucking B tier to be honest with you. Some of these I for sure have never had. These are like a B tier item. The only popsicle that deserves to be higher is the real fruit pops. Cause even as a child, I was like, give me that real fucking fruit popsicle, dude. Popsicles kind of resident sleeper. Honestly, they are, aren't they? You know, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, it's not even fair to put them in C. Because I would rather have ice cream shaped like a superhero and or Spongebob. And I mean, Sonic's kind of a superhero. Uh, than have a popsicle, dude. Like, popsicle over push pop, but under, under shaped ice cream. Under shaped ice cream for sure. Alright, what do we got left here? We're almost done with this. Ooh, these crunchy ones? This shit's pretty good. I'll put this shit up here with a fucking fudge pop. In the big ass neon sandwich. Um, I don't think this is like officially a uh oh what's it called? What what is that thing called? It's dunked and it's multi-layered. A drumstick. So I don't think these are officially drumsticks, but these are gonna be our drumstick holders. Drumsticks, I mean honestly, probably like this. This is this is ordered from left to right as well. My dude, my favorite ice cream of all time. I don't know, I like a lot of ice creams pretty equally, but I think. My favorite ice cream, and this is mostly from when I was a kid. I don't think I could even eat it. Like, it's too rich at this point. I think as an adult, I probably wouldn't even enjoy this, but as a kid growing up, we would get double Moose Tracks chocolate ice cream, which, like, Moose Tracks is already, like, peanut butter cups and chocolate swirls in ice cream, but double Moose Tracks chocolate fudge is, like, giant sheets of chocolate. I mean, like, like sheets of chocolate layered into the ice cream. Chocolate chunks and then chocolate peanut butter cups all mixed into the ice cream. Dude, as, as a kid, you got a bowl of ice cream and you would get a chunk of chocolate literally this large in there. And that was like, how do you, how do you improve upon that when you're a kid, dude? Bubblegum fucking trash, dude. Bubblegum overrated flavor. It's like a chocolate pop and yeah, it's fine. Snickers ice cream bar, pretty good. I don't even know what this is. And this is like an F tier. Boom. Done. Boom, done. Strawberry short. Yes, literally the strawberry shortcake is what started the entire conversation. I am so glad, chat. You know what, chat? Just because you guys are all so cultured and you like strawberry shortcake so much, I'm going to change the title. I'm going to change the title. I'm going to change. Chat is no longer a bunch of toilet drinkers. Dude, I'm gonna change the title. You guys have redeemed yourself. You guys earned this. You guys earned it. You know, I didn't think you had it in you, but you, you deserve this. This one's for you guys. All right. I, I'm changing the title, dude. I'm changing the title. You guys have redeemed yourself. We were on big toilet drinking energy when we started the stream today, but you guys have really pulled a 180.